Hello everyone, I am Wifin Kenyim, was a GSOC intern for this year under the Apache Software Foundation. I work on the project Group Loan Management Service under Senegal CN with mentorship from Ivy Kamga, Awasom Yannick, and Ed Cable. The project involved providing a user interface for the group service into Sims web app. This user interface was to consume the existing endpoints already available in the back end and to extend the back end to include support for group loan and group saving functionalities. So here on the screen is the Sims web app. I included groups on the dashboard same as the other microservice. So here is the user interface for group. Here you see a group which has already been created. You see group definition and this button for create new group so before creating a group you have to first of all create a group definition because the group definition has to define the group you are creating so you click here to create group definition here it shows a group definition which has already been created for other groups here you enter the id for the group definition here you specify the minimum size for the group, the maximum size for the group, the description for the group. Like the group you want to create after this can be used for savings. Here you have cycle details. Here is the number of meetings. So here you estimate the number of meetings the group would have after it has been created. Frequency here is the frequency of the meeting. You can choose either daily, weekly, or monthly. Create the group. So here is the group that has been created. Here is the group definition that has been created. So you can edit the group definition by clicking here. This edit option was not implemented in the back end, so I implemented it to be able to use it on the front end. So now I'm actually editing the information I entered. Can change this one to three. Can change my meeting to be weekly. That update the group. So here is the information that has been updated. So after creating the group definition, I have to create a group now that maps to that group definition. So here I click create group. Yeah, I give the ID of the group I want to create. The name of the group is Jangi. The group definition. I enter the group definition I created for this group. Weekday, I specify the day for the meetings. This weekday is the weekday for the meetings. Here, yeah, assign an office to the group. Assign an employee to the group. Then, assign leaders to the group. Select three as my leader. Remember, leaders are also members to the group. So, here is assigning members to the group. You have assigned members to groups. Assign these two members to the group. Yeah, provide the address of the group. Moliko Boyan Cameroon. Create group. Create group. So when the group is created, if state is pending, so I have to activate it. So to here is the uh, the details of the group that has already been created. Like on the dashboard, you can see the address, the employee assigned to the group, the office, the meeting day, and when the group was created. So, before doing anything on the group, I have to activate the group. I activate the group by clicking here. 
enter any reason for activating the group like enter your comment activate the group has been activated but this red band is still here this is because this core is a kind of having corners you will take a time for it to disappear then here you can edit the group this edit option was not implemented in the back end so i implemented it to be able to use it on the front end so here you can change the name of the group like one two three you can change the week the meeting day to any any day you wish and you can update the group so you see the name has been changed and the weekday has also the meeting day has also been changed so when you click act on activity shows you the different activity carry on the group like when the the group was activated it will also show you when the the day the group was closed and when it was reopened so when you click on meeting information this information is generated by the uh, back end when you click on it it shows you the attendance sheet that the customer id and their status for a particular meeting since this information has been generated by the back and that's why we, ex we expect the customers to be present during any meeting and the duration is not because the meeting has not yet taken place so when a meeting takes place and you want to sign off after the meeting so here's the information you feel you if it's the first meeting you enter one the current cycle is one the duration for the meeting you enter the duration of the meeting the t status of the customer did they attend or did they miss yeah they attended attended and you save as the information you enter will update this information the database so you see now for meeting one the duration is 40 and the customer attended the meeting so for all the meeting that will take place to sign off you just fill this sign off meeting form and this information will go and update the meeting information in the back end so to close a group to close a group you have to sign to close a group here you have to sign off all the meeting so for me to close a group i have to sign off all the meeting so i to sign off all the meetings i come here enter to the current cycle is one the duration of the meeting let me say when the meeting has already taken place and all the members attended save to sign of the last meeting that's the 10 meeting enter here three the current cycle is one and the duration was 30 minutes for the meeting then the all the members attended as i earlier said all the information from sign off meeting are going to they are going to update the information in the information here so these are the so this is what i entered when signing off the meeting now to close a group to close a group come here i write any description why i'm closing the group maybe use uh, lack of funds and are close you see the group has been closed and it's been safe here the group was closed at this time if i want to reopen the group come to status and i enter the reason for why i'm reopening the group now let me say enough funds now funds available reopen the group is now reopened but the state is pending so i have to activate it The group has not been activated. 
and all those information are stored under activities. So this basically all what I did for the web interface and the and consuming the endpoint. For extending the back end to include the group loan functionality, the database for group loan and group savings have already been done and I'm actually writing some tests for some of the features that I've included on the front end and on the back end. And given that I'm true with my final year project in school, the rest of my time I'll be working on this project to make sure that it is completed and all the futures were implemented. Thanks.